think that you have uh, your computer and you, you will try to build VM by yourself. So you, you will not just sit and be. So this is outline. I will describe a bit how our automated build system works now and then a little preparations for, for building VM guide the building process and then uh, uh, after break uh, we will give some details about how we could customize builds and, and how we could create a new plugin and
The next stage is actually uh, to generate the sources of new VM. So it, it, it is done in parallel for all three, for all three platforms. And actually, this is a, it uses a six, currently six, there are six jobs. Uh, one is, uh, so two per, per, per each platform, Linux, uh, Mac and uh, Windows. And uh, one job is the computer automation, another is tech automation. But of course, we are free to add, to add more jobs which use some custom configuration we create. So this job do pretty simple things. Just generate the source files, generate the CMake uh, files, and then just uh, uh, deal with the VM and uh, uh, the output. And then the last stage is uh, immediate, which immediately parts up on, on the build server when, when VM is built, it uh, uh, starts a new job to, to run tests on newly built VM so we know we could track the regression or if something broken in the new build VM. So that's it. Uh, so this is a Snapshot of key tutorials. It's a uh, yeah. I, it's, I think I'd better to show you in the in the web browser. Sources of the 
project and you can start hacking in your own repository which you own to, to do any experiments with mutual mission. So here we start with many things. So, uh, originally all you should do is to clone the sources from this git repository. But last time we tried this when multiple people download it, it puts too much stress on the on the server and then you have the outage. So we copied the sources on the flash drive. All you could follow the link which is uh, HTTPS, uh, CIFR, and then download the sources from there. I can show you where. So there is two files, which is a uh, .gz and the maker image .z. Or if you don't want to download, I have the, those files on the flash. Anyone? Who wants to use the USB? Ah, perfect. Is a source and I'm Git. I mean, what's the relationship with SweetVM or like do you have be for the arm sources or are they cloned to they are the or what? The sources on Git is a mirror of, of the SVM with so modifications. So that you're you can either go to sweetvm.org or to get and you're getting the current source. Sweet sweetvm.org has an SVN repository. Yes. And you have a Git repository. Yes. I'm wondering if these are two separate sets of sources or are these um, related? They are related in terms of Every time something new happens on SVM, I uh, uh, merge those changes in, in, into Git repository. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so there's no, not two different directions, it's all in one set of sources. Unfortunate, unfortunately, not all developers want to use the Git, uh, and that's why we have to keep, uh, to, to keep the to maintain the relationship with the SVM. Because personally for me, the Git is a, the right choice for, for, for sharing the, for doing the project. It's hard to convince people, you know. Yeah, I just wondered, I saw the Git and I saw the SVN, it's the same sources that it is, it's the same. Yeah, the Git is the same. Except that in, in, uh, in Git repository, we, we, we have a bit different strategy. We just uh, remove all, all generated sources from the uh, repository because we want to verify that every view will verify that using the right sources. I mean, we it, anyways, we build it from scratch, so there should be not any pre-generated files in the repository because it makes no sense.
it describes what you need to download and install because it's, it's too much to fit on the slide. So for, for Windows? Yes. Yes, I, in fact, I'm helping him to install it on Windows and I'm going to the host view like out there and watch it around yes. the, the so it means and all that. I will try. For, uh, <laughs> so we, we done this, this simple part is just load the prepare the uh, sources <laughs> but <laughs> apart from this we need to prepare our platform for new YouTube. We have to we need to have the compiler, the CMake and the and the rest of the union tools. Yes? I get a warning about this packet from Pencil and abstract loader. Yes, yeah, yeah, just see just for C. Okay. Yeah. It is not an issue. Just ignored <laughs> okay. by build system because it's uh, during the automated build all parties is just ignored as first proceeds. So how many of you have the game maker load? It's not what? It's stuck. Stuck? It should not be.
unless you have built tools on your machine already installed. You have to download them and install them. So I recommend you to go to the uh, follow to follow the link at the bottom and uh, look for the instructions because depending on the platform you have to follow different parts. Why still is gonna take like five, six minutes? Huh? I still is gonna take like five or six minutes. Yeah. So I think it's right now. Yeah, but installing Xcode. Huh? Okay. Maybe where are you? Yeah, if, if you don't have it scored on your Mac, don't try it. <laughs> because the uh, X code, how many, how many, how many is it? Four gigs. Four gigs, yeah. Hey, Igor, you've got an X code sit to share with someone that does not have four gigabytes of the I don't think so. Here the internet is low, but not strong. We've got a next call for the In a few minutes. I actually might, if I have it, if it's also been a problem. Yes, if you have a card, it's If you're not here. Yeah, Basically, just go to the to the CMake uh, official site and 